Okay, timer is set. Tomato 6. Let's go. So in the previous episode, we decided this is a new API we want in our quiz delegate. Since this hasn't been exposed to the clients, we are free to just rename it. Right, exactly. So this is what we have right now. Let me run the tests. And we want to get here. Yes. So what is the easiest thing we can do? Probably rename the handle question function. Okay, let's do that. Factor rename. Let's see. So this is now answer for question. Oh, this doesn't look good. It shouldn't have kept the question here. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to do some manual work here. Yeah. Also, this should be completion now. Yes. Okay. The completion is fine, but this definitely didn't work. Probably the compiler is going to help me here because this is not going to build. Plus, we have all the modified files on the left to guide us. Exactly. They am here. Yes. It should be just four question. This one is done. Okay. Next one. Again, what happened here? It changed the router instead of the handle question function. And this is completion. Right. That's answer four question. So we remove this four here. Yes. Okay. And in the tests. Oh, we did the same thing everywhere. Four question. And the same thing here. Right. Let me see if this solves it. Okay. That was not a good refactoring. We introduced a lot of risk. It shouldn't have introduced risk because yes. that's why you have refactoring tools, to eliminate the risk of manual mistakes. Exactly. Exactly. However, it's not a perfect world, so let's be extra careful in the review. <laughs> I believe I saw in the flow class that there are some callback references instead of completion. This callback should be completion. Yes. Since we're green, let's commit here and we can either amend or create a new one. Quiz delegate has the new API that we want. The quiz test doesn't care about the question, so we can remove it. Yes, we can remove that. We just run the test again. Okay. Renamed method. Clarify intent. Right. We are asking for answers. Now in the flow, we can rename the callback. Yes. Should we say completion? Well, it's answer for question at index, right? We're completing with an answer for a question at a specific index. And if you see in line 40, even the parameter in the closure says answer. So I would like that to be answer for question. Like this? Yes, yes, I think that's very descriptive. Okay. Improved code readability. Right. Just for a good measure here, let's do a search for callbacks. Right, so it's only the flow test, perfect. So why don't we call it answer completion then? Okay. Okay, improved name, clarify intent. I don't mind in the deprecated game because that's how it was called. Yes. But here, in the quiz test, right. we need the same thing. So this is also an answer. Completion. Should we amend this one? Yeah, I think we could. It's basically the same change. Yeah. Great. Now the callback is just in the deprecated game. Back to the quiz delegate. The other API we want is the did complete quiz. Right. So this one is just not renaming. We're actually changing the type signature. Yes, exactly. So we're going to have to do the deprecation dance, most probably. Yes. We can, first of all, deprecate the old one. Yes. Let's see where this is used. Just in the flow. OK. That's good. And this is the new one. Yes. We can set a message here. Right. Use did complete quiz with answers instead right so a trick we can do here to do this incrementally we can 
give a default implementation. So the compiler doesn't complain anymore. Exactly. Very nice. We must remove this afterwards. So let's put it in the <laughs> list. Well, another thing we could do is to add a warning here. Delete this at some point. Right. So this is a matter of preference here. Personally, I don't like to litter my code. My problem with warnings is that there might be another warning that we care about, but we're not looking at it because, oh yeah, I know I have a warning. Right. So I try to limit warnings. I prefer to use the checklist. Right. Remove it complete quiz default implementation. Okay, so this way our code still builds perfectly. Yes. And when no one else is using the old API, we can remove it. Right. It's a good time to commit, I believe. Yes. Deprecated the handle result API in favor of the new lead complete quiz with answers. Yes. So let's have a look at the tests and start from there. Right. So here we have the delegate spy that implements the quiz delegate that is using the old API. Right. That's why we have the handle result here. So who's using handle result? Probably a bunch of tests. Yes. There you go. Okay, so I think what we have to do here is one by one, update those tests, keeping the old API until we don't need it anymore. That sounds good. So what is the easiest, I think, is the no questions. Yeah. Or maybe the easiest one is the one that tests that nothing is called, so we don't need to do anything. All right. So let me move this test above here. Let's start here. Yeah. Start with one question. Does not. What is the new behavior? It does not complete. It's not complete quiz. Okay. So what we want is completed quizzes right. is empty. Yes. We can declare that in the spy. So instead of renaming this, we can create a new one. Right. Let's call it completed quizzes. And this is an array of completed quizzes. What is a completed quiz? It's an array of tuples. With question and answer. With question and answer, yes. And the question in this scope is a string? Yeah, string for both. And there is a string. Fantastic. Okay, it builds. By the way, I just noticed something here. We forgot to change the handled questions property of the spy. I believe we should rename that as well. I'm happy to defer it for later, but definitely add it in the to-do list. Okay, so rename handle questions in the delegate spy. Right. Cool, let's carry on. So this test is passing. So I'm happy to commit. Okay, right on time here. Updated tests with new API. Yes, and I really like the, the name, by the way, it does not complete quiz. It's very descriptive as to the behavior, what the behavior is of this test. Now it makes much more sense. All right, let's finish for this episode. Let's come back and get this done. Awesome. See ya.